Hey gang, welcome back. Epi review problem on circuits. Okay, this one's a little bit harder than the last one. Okay, what is the resistance seen by the battery? There's the battery over there. Looks like a parallel circuit again. Okay, here are your answer choices. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. Okay, are you back? I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? So, you're an electron. You're traveling through here. You go, ah, and the first one you hit, ah, there's some resistance here. And so you hit that eight, right? Eight, okay? Then what else am I going to hit? Then I come down here, and I'm like, okay, I can go this way, or I can go that way. That's the parallel circuit. Some of it will go this way. Some of it will go that way. More of it that way, right? Because this is less resistance. But some of it's going to go this way. But what about all of this over here? What about all of that? It ain't going that way. It's like, oh man, there's eight ohms of resistance that way. Or how much is this way? Uh, none. So we call this, we call that a short circuit, don't we? So that this, these two guys here are the only one in parallel. The rest of this is short circuit. It will not have any electricity going through it. Okay. So here we go. Do you remember how to do it? One divided by one over six plus one over 10. Okay. And that's going to give me the resistance seen by the battery. Okay. So let's see. On... 1 divided by 6 is 1.16666 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.1 equals 2. And then 1 divided by answer is 3.75. So this whole thing turns out to be 8 plus 3.75, which I can do in my head. It's 11.75 ohmages. Uh, there it is, answer C. All right. Okay. Looked complicated, but we had a short circuit. Don't forget how to do those. All right, see you on the next one.